man. But you just think by opening the door for a lady or something, that, that's righteousness, man. All right, that, that chivalry crap, man. You niggas don't know the word of the Lord, man. You don't understand a real man. Okay? Who's that you had again, brother? Hold on, I got three seconds. Hold on, hold on. So Jeremiah 23 and 29. Is not my word like fire, saith the Lord, yes. and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces? Like a Maccabee. Uh, you know what I mean? Maccabee means hammer. I believe that's the Greek word for hammer, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, yeah, the most highest word is like a hammer, man. It, it breaks you up and crush you. It's a two-edged sword, man. And it, it, it just is a discerner of the spirit, discerner of your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? And it's quick and powerful, too. So ain't nobody going to be really be able to stand up here too long if they too wicked, too. I'm saying, because we're going to dissect them. If they don't humble themselves completely, they're going to have to get the scary on, man. Go about their day. And the judgment has been set. So the Lord knows you've not seen it now. No, you have no cloak. No more covering now. That's all this is all about is exposure. We are basically like in the matrix, not to get too high out of there, but this, this is all already, everything is predestined, man. It's already been. So what I'm saying is nothing new under the sun. And that which has been is already, I mean, what that is now, which has already been. And it's already written, too. And, uh, the book of Isaiah tell you that. Declaring the, the uh, end in the beginning. So these people was all set up to, to, uh, to, be, to be destroyed, man. Okay? There's only a few, we out here fishing, so there's only a few men that's gonna, gonna come into this, man. All right, the elect. But they say, son, that's why the scriptures say many are called, yes. but few chosen. Few. Few. Like the brother said, man. The world to come is only few and few. And I love that because the Most High gonna take a few, 144,000 good men, all right, with the one third, and that's a few people, and then we gonna bring back our large multitude. We gonna bring back the nation. And we gonna be as the sand of the sea again. But the Lord gotta cut off that sand of the sea right now, man. All right, because the nation of Israel, don't get me wrong, they are the sand of the sea right now, but they don't know they're Israel right now. Okay, so they, they the sand of their wickedness right now. Okay, but there's Israelites everywhere, man. We all over them, we everywhere. That was one of the promises, man, the Lord made to Abraham. Okay. So right four verse 25, and no why speak against the truth. But be a best in the era of thy ignorance. Yes. Yeah, these people walk by and they say, though, you the devil, and y'all don't know what y'all talking about, and you're cursing, they speaking against the truth, man. Because ultimately, a curse is if I'm asking the Heavenly Father and the Son to put judgment on you, man. Okay? It's the opposite of a blessing, man. That means I'm wishing death on you, man. Destruction. That's what a curse is. Not fuck, shit, bitch. That's not a curse word. But you offended because you're really, you're not in the manly spirit. Most of really talk about men, man. A woman, she, of course she won't be offended. She's a devil, man. A woman has, she's a weaker vessel, man. And there ain't nothing but a, uh, a vessel for Satan. It's uh, Proverbs 15 and 10. Correction is grievous to him that forsaketh the way. And he that, and he that, Hath reproof, shall he that hateth reproof shall die. Shall die, and that's it. Come straight to the point. And these words are grievous to those people that forsake, because they don't want to know the way. They want to stay in the broad way. They don't want to know the straight way of the Heavenly Father and the Son, man. They don't want to know to stop eating pork, okay? Stop lining up your beard, okay? Stop being adulterous, all right? Stop being homosexuals, where that's a probably a lost cause when it comes to the Lord. I know, even though the Lord can do all things, though. All right. Okay. So, uh, stop smoking. Okay. Stop putting um. Uh, the niggas put coke up their nose nowadays. A lot. That's big among the uh, Latino tribes now too. Cocaine addiction, man. Sniffing lines of coke like Scarface. The Lord ain't with that. All right. Tattoos go down the line, but that's just that's just part of the Lord's design, man. All right. We're gonna go into actually standing up for the Heavenly Father's word. Okay. I mean, learning this word, okay, humbly, okay, learning what he's about, learning to his life, learning who your enemy is, okay, learning America's gonna be destroyed, okay, learning that the Most High got death camp set up for you, okay, if you don't get right, okay, uh, going in the most, like I said, uh, America's gonna be destroyed with thermonuclear missiles, man. Knowing that, this is enough to make you want to get right, man, correct yourself. What can I do, man? How can I escape that kind of judgment, man? All right, knowing that famine is on the way. Right now, the Lord got the word out, but famine of the word is on the way. 
All right, because if we, us brothers, are going willing, we the elect, we part of it. We got the spirit on us when the Lord stops us from coming out here. You better hope you know us. All right, and then you better hope that you're the elect. We ain't gonna teach this to any numbskull Negro. Okay? Like the brother, I remember the brother mentioned that, that was in the spirit, like last month, uh, the rock. He told me, say, he might have to teach a brother once this whole thing can shut down, man. That ring a bell. I was like, yeah, that is true, man. We might gotta be here, yeah, man. Show a brother this and that out of the word. So, um, so basically, right now is to get the word right now before the famine comes. And it's looking famine, it's looking pretty famine, famine this right now, man. It's looking like the most any day, man. Boston, bow, boom, bang. You know what I'm saying? Syria, they releasing gases and shit over there on them on on, on those um, war uh, uh, fighters, whatever you call them, man. I'm reading that, uh, I think it was Yahoo too. Surgeons. Yeah, surgeons and shit. They got biological warfare popping off, man. Reset, brother. Psalms 120, verse 6. My soul has long quote with them. Like my soul has long quote with them that hated peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. That's the cracker, man. That's the so called white man, man. Our souls, our, our whole being, man, our, our inner man, our innate spirit, our, what do you call it, the posh? But it's the spirit. I forgot to see that. Okay. Uh, uh, the soul, man, our soul, man, has been dwelling with these, these devils, man. All right, he hate peace, man. The white man ain't in peace. When he say peace, war is in his heart, man. So we've been among these devils, man, for ages. But primarily, right now, because right now our minds are open, we dwelling with this devil. We know he's not about peace. All right, because if he was about peace, he'd give the Native Americans back their land. He'll take his ass back to the caves. All right. Or, uh, well, he can't get Mount Seir no more. That's already prophesied, and we don't even take that from him. All right. So he's just gonna have to be a slave. Okay. Give all the island, the Caribbean uh, inhabitants, uh, the uh, Simeon, Dominicans. Okay, Cubans, the Jamaicans, all right, the Bahamas, get all them people back their land, man. Get your ass out of Iraq, get your ass out of back. Basically, just anywhere the white man is at, he need to just leave, man, because everywhere he's at, that's not his home, man. But he's a wanderer. Can I say something? He, 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 it's reported that he got at least or approximately a thousand military bases outside the U.S., man. Yeah, man. Occupying all kinds of different countries. And he didn't get that with peace. He didn't come there and say, I'm gonna be your brother, treaties and this and that. He stole that land, man. He bombed the people. He raped, robbed, and murdered for that. All right, so like the brother said in the scripture, I think that's David speaking, he said, his soul has long dwelled with them that hated peace, man. That's David speaking that over uh, 3,000 years ago. Okay? He, he was talking about the Edomites back then, so you know, all the other nations too. And he was thrown off the cliff. Uh, the other, uh, I think it's uh, his son, his sons. Uh, got go. uh, this is uh, I don't know if you want to read it again, but uh, yeah, you read it anyway. Psalms 123, verse 4. Our soul is exceedingly filled with the scorning of those that are at ease yeah. and with the contempt of the proud. Yeah, and they're proud too. There's no prouder damn nation on the planet than the nation of Esau, Aisha, which means wasted away, or Edom, Adawam in the Hebrew, which means red. There's no nation the Lord made him, programmed him, designed him genetically to be the proud and the wicked. Okay, you can't get around that. And our people been seduced by his ways, man. And they picked up, now they're proud, they're poor, proud nation, man. We're the nation of Israel, but any nation, that put, a part of the nation of Israel got no right to be proud, man. Okay? You're poor right now. You're not rich in the faith and the, the wisdom, knowledge, understanding the Bible. Because right now, we're poor. Okay, but we're rich in the knowledge. Okay? But the Esau is, is, is the crowd right now. Okay, he gonna be destroyed. The Lord say pride gonna be for destruction, plain and simple. So, so pride, he gonna be proud, and the Lord gonna bring him down with thermonuclear missiles. Do you have a What? My question. For, uh, for, for the brother of mine. Uh, uh, it's Proverbs 16 verse 18. Pride go up before destruction, and the haughty spirit before a fall. Haughty spirit, proud spirit before the fall. Quaker English, haughty. The haughty spirit before the fall. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's why Esau is so proud right now, 
And the scripture says that um, that he exalted himself like he's God, man. All right, then the one scripture, scripture tell you that he don't, oh, even, yeah. don't believe in God. But really, that, it's not contradiction. It's really saying that he don't believe in, in the ways of the Heavenly Father, man. He know there's a God out there, but he don't, he, he don't adhere to the words of the Lord, man. Psalms 52, 1. It says, why boast thyself? Why boast, why boast is thou thyself in mischief, O mighty man? The goodness of the power endureth continuum. Yeah. That's the Lord uh, spitting in your face, Esau, saying, why boast in your damn self, man? The, the power of the Lord will go on forever, right? Truth. Yeah, the truth is fair, is here, man. It's written. Thy tongue devises mischiefs like a sharp razor working deceitfully. Yeah. Thou lovest evil more than good, and lying rather than to speak righteousness. So yeah. There you go. That's the whole MO of the white, so-called white man, man. He's all, he's all about lying and, and being the damn wicked, man. And he's not for good, okay? Because if he was for good, he would not never put his hands on the Lord's anointing. He would have read right in, in Chronicles or in, in the book of Psalms, touched out the Lord's anointing, man. And he's smart. He would have never made the, uh, the court system the court system so complicated. Yeah. It says, uh, Psalms 52 and 4, Thou lovest all devouring words, O thou deceitful tongue. Yeah. So yeah, he loved he loved devouring words, putting lies on our people's or our, our names, man. That was names that's tagged on us as devouring, man. Cause you got a, a, a so-called Puerto Rican or a so-called Mexican running around with those titles like that's them, like they was born Mexican, like Mexican is actually found in in uh in the, in the Egyptian times or something. Like Mexican going back to the Greeks. No, that's a new name, man. That's new speak on you, man. So they're devouring titles on you, man. And then you go around parading around in that culture like that's you, man. Doing the uh, what they what they uh put the um the damn um the, the animal up with the damn candy in it and beat the shit down like that's love yeah that, that's love man that's foolishness but that go that tag that's a stigma on that on that nation on the nation of uh, Issachar okay because you contrary to popular belief Issachar is part of the nation of Israel man okay the Brazilians the Cubans are part of the nation of Israel. Argentina, the Chile's are part of the nation of Israel, man. So they have devour titles, brother. Go ahead, brother. Psalm 52 and 5. The power shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place yep. and the root of thee out of the land of the living. Yes. So loud. The righteous also shall see thee in fear and shall laugh at thee. Lo, this is a man that may not power his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches, and strengthened himself in his wickedness. Yeah, he strengthens himself in witchcraft, man, and um, sorcery. He strengthened himself in Illuminati, man, in the cult secret knowledge. Okay, he, he strengthened himself in, in, in um, uh, ritualistic acts, which require blood sacrifice, man. Where he think by him sacrificing enough people's blood, that, that the, uh, the left hand of the Heavenly Father is going to continue his, his, his enterprise or his own kingdom, man, or his queendom. Right, we don't even know if Esau is a kingdom no more, his queendom, okay? He's not a king, man. This is the Psalm of David. This is right. David saying next. It says, but I am like a green olive tree in the house of the power. Mm -hmm. I will trust in the mercy of the power forever and ever. All right, so there's no olive skin people out there. Okay, the scripture said it green, green olive tree. Okay, so I won't hear you so-called Jews come up here or you white people say that the middle, the, the, the Israelites were olive skin, or Christ was olive skin. Yeah, all right. Nor would be, we do want you to say that the other nations can be grafted in. Yeah. All right, it just proves right here that the, the, the Israelites are the yeah. olive tree. We're the tree. Yeah. All right. Our king is dead. Yeah, how, how are the branches that fell off the original olive tree yeah. turns up to the other nations? Yeah. They the same branch that fell off the olive tree of the, of the Israelites, they, yeah. they got sold back on. Yeah. So, but I will praise thee forever because thou hast done it, and I will wait on thy name, for it is good before thy saints. We're the saints, man. Kodash, I believe that's probably the word there, Kodash, 